Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, T70, bringing you guys another YouTube video. And today, Forza has brought in the uh, regalia from Final Fantasy 15, and I just downloaded it from my gift box, and we're going to be driving it today to see how it handles with the wheel, and see what the speed is, and etc. Uh, and if I can drift it, it'd be nice, but um, where is the regalia? I think I passed it. Uh, nope, it's right here. So, Final Fantasy 15 car crossed over to Forza Horizon 3. I'm super excited. This is out of this world. Literally out of this world. Uh, for a car like this to come in Forza. It's out of this world. Uh, then again, the Warthog is in also Forza as well, which I also own. But, I'm glad to see that Forza has brought in, uh, something completely, uh, unique. Oh god, this thing is huge. Ooh. Oh jeez. Hear that sound? I wonder what kind of engines are under the hood of this thing. I don't know if it's running off magic or something like that. I'm not sure, man. This is crazy. Ooh. It's pretty grippy. Oh, it's really grippy actually. Oh, I just pulled the ham I just pulled the emergency brake just now. It's really grippy. I don't think I can get this thing to drift. Uh, I love the way it handles so far with the wheel. I'm just, all I'm getting is this pure, pure, pure grip at all. I can't get this thing to shake at all. Um, but this is actually quite nice. Check out the interior. Woo. Damn. What is this? Man, this is like some, you know, next gen Rolls Royce, you know, in this interior. Woo. Damn. Okay, man. I'm impressed. Um... Gonna give it some beans. See if I can get this thing to get some speed. Jeez, man. Ooh, get a little shaky a little bit. Like she wanted to drift a little bit. She wanted to do something. Like you wanna do something, Regalia? Come on. I want you to kick out a little bit. I might have to force this on off-road maybe to get her to kick, but. Oh no, she understood a little bit. She understood a little bit. She's all, I think. I think if I wasn't mistaken, I just saw that it was all-wheel drive. That, that could make a little bit of sense. I mean, if it's all-wheel drive, not saying you can't drift all-wheel drive cars because I've done it before. Um, I mean, I have, I have a Subaru and I had that all-wheel drive um, crazy taxi I made, of course. They, they can drift for sure, but this one for sure is, it just feels really grippy. I'll bet I can get this thing to go, but here we are at the roundabout. Mm, no, she does not want to budge. She does not want to budge. Come on! I want I want that tail to kick out. I really want that rear end to kick out. Come on! No. No, but she is cornering really well though, so that's that's quite that's quite the news. Maybe I maybe I can tune this up a little bit to get her to drift, but that's fine. I think you know I might just keep her just like this, just for the sake of it. I like this the feel of it. Not all cars have to drift, but this this is for sure an amazing car. Um, uh, yeah, so let's see if I can, I'm gonna go on the highway real quick and see if I can give her some beans, give her the real beans and see if I can, oh, just hit that car, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can, uh, see how fast this thing can go. Once I get to the highway, of course. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop real quick and we're gonna get ourselves to the highway. Okay, so we are back on the start of the highway going to turn her around. Oh, dang. Okay. I'll cut the off hold real quick. I didn't think it was going to teleport me right there, but all right, here we go. Time to floor it and see how fast this thing goes. Probably running off some magic. It really is. I don't know what's under the hood of this. Um, if I were to have to guess, if I'm going to guess for a car about this size, I'm going to say maybe V12. If I were to guess. Some, some, uh, some Rolls Royces are V12, but the size of the hood, the size of the, the nose of this car, I would say V12. Uh, that would probably be the most comfortable uh, guess I would have to give it if this car, if this, if this car would have the regalia that would have a uh, an engine in it. Here we go, though. Again, I wish I could. Uh, I'll find a way eventually. I know I will. I'm gonna have to make something or a mount or, or whatever or get like a. a um, 
a, a dock or whatever, uh, maybe a tripod or something, but I'm trying to find a way I can record me doing the wheel cam as well, because I like to have a wheel cam with my driving, um, when I do my driving videos as well, so I love to do that, but it'll come, it'll come, I'm using the wheel at the moment, so, but I, I wish I could show you guys that I am using the wheel, I am, so, just want to have proof that there is. The uh, update was about uh, 700 and I think 36 mega, uh, megabytes, I think, so almost close to a gig. So I'm not sure if it's just this car in the game or there probably is a few more coming. But if there's a few more coming, that'd be great. Uh, maybe it might be a hidden car pack or maybe some more or cars for the um, those forza that are coming up. Uh, but this was completely free. This was in my inbox, my gift box for the... Uh, for this update, which I'm actually quite impressed. And again, I'm really happy that Forza has, has taken this move to put some, some, something crazy, a car that doesn't even exist. And it's, it's quite cool. And you know what? It doesn't feel like it's unreal at all. It feels quite simulating. It feels like there's, this is actually a legitimate car. It feels really smooth though. I can say it's really smooth. I'm not having a, a hard time uh, turning this car whatsoever. Um, this is really smooth. Uh, I would say this is probably smoother than to be maybe a Cadillac or something. It's it for for a sedan. It's pretty pretty good. I'm flooring it right now. I'm giving it giving it all I got here. Here we go. I love the sound of the engine. Absolutely love the sound of the engine coming out of this regalia. Again, Final Fantasy 15, man. Uh, I've seen it in the game. I've tried it before in the real Final Fantasy 15, uh, 15 game at, uh, with a friend of mine, and it was actually it didn't have it didn't have that simulation there, but but uh, I'm glad that they put it in Forza so you can actually feel what the Regalia could actually feel like if it had some uh, realistic feel to it um, for a car for car physics anyway. So far, she's going around 200. Can't get her to go any faster. She's not that fast, but you know what? For, for a car, I think I just leave that as a good cruising car. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not getting much understeer out of it, coming from an all-wheel drive car, but it's really grippy, uh, but not much understeer at all, to be honest. I don't have to turn this wheel to get it to go turn at all, so it's pretty good. She feels really good on the wheel. Again, I'm trying to not hit a car at this point. Um, I wanna drift, though. Honestly, I really wanna drift. Um, okay. I'm going to stop the video at this, uh, so if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you guys can put down the, the premiering box down below. I'm making some more YouTube videos very soon. I'm your host T70, cheers guys.